So, ladies and gentlemen, today we have Anuradha Ji back again and showing us some of the secrets of Nadi Nakshatra. And today we're going to be doing Bharani Nakshatra. And these are very, very unique concepts of Nakshatra where they get activated at a certain age. And uh, so Anuradha Ji is going to come and show us what these ages are and how they, you know, um, develop. And especially um, if you want to actually learn in depth about these things, they actually have a course coming up. Um, what was that course that um, you were talking to me about? The, your courses next week? Uh, the next week we have two courses coming up. Uh, one of them is Tarot course and the other is the Nari Nakshatra course. We have uh, this Tarot course, a uh, 10 week t uh, course, and wherein we teach you all the basics, the spreads, and also the timing of the events, the ethic. Okay. Yeah. The house that it is sitting in, the houses that it owns. The houses and, that Nakshatra Lord owns. Yes. Okay. Uh, and also the very primarily also the karaka of the planet that is uh, you know sitting in the uh, nakshatra also mm -hmm. the houses that that planet owns because they will have their own say okay it's a permutation combination see he lost an internationally high paying job that was what one of his losses was but his improvement as a human being because we have worked on this chart for some time his improvement on the hum as a human being he says was phenomenal and then how did this okay okay this is the 33rd year okay okay got it so and then how did the sun come into play did sun do anything or just mercury sun is the third lord of again secondary house of relationships eight to eight opposite ninth so it's also sustenance of relationships. Okay. Sun is also the friendship. So he had a very strong relationship with this lady. One, uh, you see this lady that was, it is associated with Saturn here. Saturn is a karaka for something that is old. So this lady was definitely older to him. He, she could be more wise. She could be elder to him in age. Uh, she could be more mature to him in terms of, and when I'm saying old, uh, it does not mean only physically. It could mean mentally, it mentally. could mean spiritually, it could mean emotionally, more mature. Mm -hmm. because and, and how did the Gulika play a part or did it play a part? He came back to India. He left a high paying job. Uh, high paying job. Okay. So that was a negative thing that happened with that. Okay. Yes. See, nothing, nothing in the chart throughout the year, throughout the year, just because you might be having a, a bad combination in the chart, so-called bad combination again um, in the chart, that does not mean throughout the year you will only be facing, you know, uh, doom and gloom or throughout the year there will be going, there's going to be a downpour on your parade. Okay. This combination has to deliver something good. Because you must have done some good karmas regarding this combination also in some lifetime. Do you know if this person, yes. after the affair, got any divorce or went back to the lady that he had an affair with? Or No, no, he didn't go back. Okay. In fact, he married somebody else altogether. Okay. But then he, uh, this was one of his life-changing uh, relationships. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now, um, see, uh, yeah, again, rule C, in and around or after 33rd year, improvement or reversals in life. Can you see this? Paula Abdullah, she's a very famous person. We all know her. Yeah. So uh, she was, a, she had a problem uh, called bulimia. We all, uh, you know, bulimia is a disease wherein people eat and their the stomach is not able to sustain what is there, what goes in. It just comes out the same way, because all these, uh, for because of that, you know, for uh, the food that they take in is not withheld by the stomach. They vomit it out. They eat it, but they vomit it out. Okay. As a result, people can die out of malnutrition. And what kind of addiction did she have? 
she had this bulimia but the best part is okay it ended so it's not just again like i said in the last case people might take it as a reversal but this case this is also a reversal because this is an improvement she ended an addiction to bulimia which had i uh, which had she had begun at the age of 16 okay and uh, again i'm stressing my point here please do note that mars is in bharani and it aspects the lagna and the lagna lord venus okay so uh, and it also aspects the nakshatra lord venus now mars has a tendency to cut because mars is a warrior planet mars is a blade the blade can be used as a scissor it can be used it's a sword it can be used uh, by both the surgeon as well as a murderer yeah. it is upon the person who is using it that matters the planet as such does not have that quality to deliver it is that is inherent quality to cut so it can cut the good from the bad and it can cut the bad from the good okay so how did mars play a role Mars in Bharani aspects Lagna and Lagna Lord Venus. Okay, now see it. It cuts. It it is in the seventh house. Okay, and it is also it aspecting the mind, because the Lagna is your mind. Mm -hmm. So the it it gets your mind to work on that aspect of trying to come out of it. So she cut her addiction, is what you're saying. Yes. she cut she set her mind to cut off the addiction now let's say if you didn't explain this most of the people including me must have thought something related to relationships or marriage anything of that sort or no yes they could have see don't you think that that addictions would have an impact on your marriage no well, of don't course think, yeah don't you think coming out of addictions will help you sustain your marriage better yes so that's a secondary effect but that was coming out of a addiction okay and Ma, uh, and venus and mars is the second lord of food also okay so there's so many things that so you know the so relationship many... improve or cuz i know she got a divorce at some point or something i'm not sure i usually they all do get a divorce in this industry but <laughs> <laughs> no but i honestly i'm not sure but then don't you think the relationship with the self would also improve so if let's say we didn't know this anything about this person and if he said at the age of 33 your relationship improved and perhaps your um career improved we could say that too because her coming out of addiction would improve her career yes the marriage or more passion yes. in marriage can be seen it could also it could also um have an effect uh, because uh, on her career also she could have gone down when she, see if she is in a rehabilitation center she would definitely be away for some time so mm -hmm. you see the ketu and the saturn any planet is governed by the planet tenth from it that is one of the first laws that you find in jain basin fundamentals of astrology so uh Saturn is sitting in the tenth from Mars, but along with Ketu, Ketu will cover it. So for an seventh house, that is the seventh house is the secondary house of your, um, uh, you know, life, uh, your um, career. So for some time that got covered. By the time she came out of rehabilitation and when she came out, when you know Mars started showing its colors properly, like a warrior planet, then her profession must have taken a upturn a huge upturn okay in totality we can just sit and you know discuss this one chart for at least an hour because there's so many beautiful points just centering around the 23rd year but then you know we uh, we don't tend to take that much of time with every chart we just say this is it that is it and you see rahu ketu has been on the venus that is the lagna lord and saturn which is the fourth lord of happiness they are all on the rahu ketu axis so it was a very strong mars that helped her cut through uh, her uh, for her career and herself and her uh, happiness did she have some change of religion at the age of 33 too 
we we'll need to find out and let change you know. of beliefs or okay could be could be a possibility could be a possibility you saying that uh, from rahul's point of view because no i'm saying that because the ninth lord will become active at the age of 33 and yeah, ninth lord okay. is in the eighth house so you're getting you're getting bcp in BCP, here yeah i always combine everything together yes we we've already in fact uh, yuvraj is on to a second uh, course with uh, you know a higher level course with bcp also that he's done okay okay we move on to the next chart yeah. steve reeves steve reeves uh, he america does not need any introduction to him he has been one of the highest paid uh, actors in europe and he has been a bodybuilder and mr universe mr america he used to earlier on see again an upturn in his life at the age of 33 he was uh, in italy and he went and he he used to you know play in very small um, roles uh, and very minor roles that he used to play in television and in industry in the film industry and uh, he was introduced as uh, hercules in jason and argonauts that's a that's a movie which is based on uh, greek mythology and that was a major hit and that was uh, grossing 5 million in united states in 1959 you can tell me better what that would amount to in today's time kapil i have absolutely no clue but i am sure it would be something of a yeah. record breaker in itself so it it would be huge and you know the second chain that came up uh, when he worked and the, that was just you know that was just the breaking point for him wherein he unprecedented success after that unprecedented success after that you can see he has his moon in bharani okay and it is aspected by um by you know mars no it is not aspected by mars but you see he has his moon and that is his seventh lord which is the pada prapti which is the pada prapti lord and uh, secondary again like i did it in uh, paul abdullah's case it is the second um, reload so it gives you so much uh, more to your work yeah. and things like that work and things like that and then as you see in the 10th house again moon is sitting here let me take that also into account moon is sitting here rahu is sitting in the house of moon so it's like a sudden change it is not something that would happen uh, to him with a you know carefully planned way rahu is a karaka for suddenness so it is just happened mhm for him all together perfect moon also aspects your 10th uh, house from the 4th house so okay. all in all all in all this is like uh again okay we have chart of alexander fleming Uh, anybody all of us the first thing that after we are born is given penicillin yeah and we have we have to thank this gentleman out here because he is the one who has saved people the world over from a very very big disease you know he's written many articles on bacteriology immunology any any person in we are in school we are taught about sir alexander fleming so he is uh, in 19 in his 28th year this uh, gets activated this nakshatra of bharani gets activated saturn which is sitting in his 11th house of gains okay and uh, it is the ninth lord of bhagya it is also the ninth lord of higher education and that gets activated okay so you see as i told you last time as i told you earlier on that you have to see the planet which is posited there of what houses it is the owner of and saturn is also the karaka of hard work okay so this is not the 33rd age 33rd no it's the 28th age 28th year okay now having saturn debilitated any negative or effect on that or just when saturn is debilitated one of the thing is it teaches you is uh, it wants to teach you wherever saturn sits saturn wants you to be very disciplined about that so if saturn is sitting in your fourth house you need to be disciplined with habits of your family 
Mm-hmm. You need to be disciplined with your family. If Saturn is sitting in your seventh house, be disciplined with your spouse. Give time to your spouse. Uh, if Saturn is sitting in your tenth house, don't be lazy. Don't be maintain your timing. Saturn is also karaka for time, so maintain your timing. Mm-hmm. So here it was trying to teach this person the uh, the ability to be on time. One, two. to be disciplined in his work okay and not to look at your gains so this debility and he sir alexander fleming was a very humble human being he was also very disciplined in his work right from the beginning of he had very humble beginnings too so from his beginning he had been working very hard so saturn implemented uh, that result in his life he implemented what saturn wanted him to do in his life and saturn in turn gave him recognition okay people and plus i actually noticed saturn also receives a niche bhang with venus being in kendra so it would actually incur good results yeah but uh, i have my sincere doubts on niche bhang but that's uh, that's a debatable okay. topic uh but saturn you see what i have always felt is that once you once you accept once you do what the planet is trying to show you to do through your chart the planet doesn't fall back in giving the results the positive ones for that matter okay so you know and 11th lord mars is conjunct 7th and 10th lord jupiter in the 12th house so for in his uh, his um, name and fame you know 10th lord 7th lord name pada prapti fame he- my 24 self up in front of <laughs> you were for tough the 24 year old who rejected or 19 year old who rejected astrology you know if i started learning at astrology at 19 i would have been somewhere else because i received a prediction that i will follow in the footsteps of my uncle by the age i'm 30 and i never <laughs> believed it and it is like it's going to be something related to Cult or mystical sign. I'm like, yeah, my chacha is astrologer for 40 years. I'm like, you think I'm gonna make an astrologer? Man, come on, get out of here! <laughs> I'm like, mom, don't bring me to these people again. Okay, this is. Do I want to be a artist and a film director? And you're telling me what's what is this? And it's just I want to go back in time with the 19 or on. I take his hair and go onto his feet and follow him. Like I would beat myself up at 19. This is why I never belittle anything that I just don't know. No, it's it's I totally uh, am with the fact that you know children because they they do not understand it's out of fear it's out of fear of the unknown that they belittle. Yeah. So they can say it's okay it's not done, but trust me, tarot is a very very strong tool. It's a very very strong tool uh, to begin with. and it taught me so much more it helped me learn so much strongly in terms of the basics uh, of astrology the elements that i could never have learned in astrology come all to me from tarot do you ever make a link between the two ever when doing any reading i do i do i will al- i also have a sheet which we do give in our tarot classes um, you know the sheet between the signs and the cards and the zodiac the planets there's a very strong interlink so like a certain card could be represented by saturn one could be represented by jupiter is that the kind of links yes 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 the mm-hmm. aerophant is represented by uh, your jupiter your the king is represented by a uh, sun Sun, so the yeah. the Aries, the A King is Aries. So the the Sun card is the Sun. Moon is the Moon. There's so many, there's so many interlinks, and right. it is vast subject. But thank you, couple, for thank uh, you so you much. Know. We'll see you next thank month. You. Definitely, we'll do. Sure, do. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.